Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to Hitman FYI episode 9. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. And for this one, uh, we are actually going to talk about the now you see me, now you don't technique. I didn't actually come up with that, some guy came up with it in a, during a live stream yesterday. And uh, I was going to do this video a long time ago, but I just could not think of a way to. Uh, I, don't, I didn't know what to call this te particular technique, but what it is, is a distraction system in where you can. Uh, Get slightly suspicious before you move away from a, from the target and lure them over to an area where you couldn't previously distract them. It's kind of difficult to explain, which is why I'm going to show you a couple of examples in regards to this. Now, uh, the video you're actually seeing here is me doing the elusive target using this technique. And um, I didn't actually post this on YouTube because I wanted to use it for this actual clip instead. Because I already had three walkthroughs of this on the channel already and I didn't want to post a fourth because... It's a bit overkill. So for this one, we use that exact same technique. So what we had to do is originally just knock out this uh, security guard, take him out of the area first, and then uh, we're going to head. Uh, we're going to get to the target in a moment. In fact, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll just skip this part until we get to the main part because it's a waste of time. Let me explain all this a little bit. So this is the part where I was actually referring to. Now we're in plain sight in this door here, and the target's slightly suspicious. But well, you can see the suspicious bar right at the bottom of the screen there. And just before it fully fills up, before we go completely hostile, uh, it, what it essentially does is uh, we move away out of the line of sight, and he will get a little question mark above his head. And then he'll come over to the area where he spotted you uh, to investigate. The trick is basically timing it, really. You have to do it just late enough, just before the suspicion bar completely fills up, before they get uh, completely 100% uh, suspicious. suspicious. Now, it's a lot easier in practice than it is explaining exactly what this is. This is why I slowed that down so you could see that. And I'm going to give you another example as well. So here we are in Marrakesh, and I created this little contract, and here's our target right in front of us. So we're using the same technique, letting us, letting him see us for just long enough, and then we'll close the door to cut off that line of sight, just there, and then he will come in the room to investigate. I mean, as you know, the coin distraction system isn't the best, so this is a very, very good technique on uh, luring your targets to wherever you need them to come to. Like, I'll show you here, the coin distraction isn't the greatest I mean he'll come over and look but he won't actually you know come in to investigate what the noise was he would just look over and go huh, huh and then just go back on his merry way but yeah so this is all about judgment as well so you have to rely on your ears and you know the little noise it makes it goes Shh, it does that little noise and the higher pitched it goes the, the more closer it is you for you to get completely spotted so you just need to judge for yourself I recommend you make a contract just like this or just come into Marrakesh and just practice this. Practice what I'm doing right here with uh, with this waiter. He's not only it's not only about closing the door; it's about moving away from the door as well. If the door isn't there as a, uh, as a way to move out of the way, but it's always best when you're at a doorway like that, so you can just close the door immediately, and then we can just just you know use the uh, the breadcrumb trail to lead him into the room. But that doesn't always work either. But uh, it is a very good way to lure enemies as well. But yeah, as I said, you should, what I, should, I recommend you doing is just creating your own contract. Or you don't even have to create your own contract. Just come to this position in Marrakesh. Yeah, this is in the cafe area in the corner. This is a restricted area. Has to be, this will only work if you're in a trespassing area or a hostile area. Keep in mind, in hostile areas, the suspicion bar will increase a lot faster than it would be in a, in a trespassing area. So our next target is going to be that gentleman over there, who's he's the waiter as well. He patrols up and down and goes behind the bar, and you'd think he'd be in an impossible target to kill. But as I said, we can use the same technique, uh, just as we did, uh, to distract him into that room. And uh, this is how it happened. This is how it works. Crime notice and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, what I recommend you doing is just practice this technique. It could help you out so much in regards to looser targets and escalations and all that kind of stuff. I mean, in fact, this was I was a part of uh, an escalation. I believe this target was either a part of an escalation or a featured contract, one of those anyway. And this is one of the techniques I've used way back then. So, so that hopefully this is going to help you out in future. Please drop a like on the video if it, uh, if you if you learned something new and if I helped you out. I'll subscribe here if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.